Let's go ahead and rate these two guys. Uh, both of them uh, were in both the WWE and in the UFC. So very interesting. As we know, Ronda Rousey is making a transition to WWE. So um, let's go ahead and rate these two, Brock Lesnar and Ken Shamrock, in ring ability first. They're both very good. Okay, uh, Ken Shamrock, this might surprise some people, but I'm high on his work. Uh, 8.7 out of 10. Uh, I saw this dude bust out with standing her and Karanas. Okay, he was a very good in ring worker very good very underrated um definitely up there i have him at a very high 8.7 brock lesnar goes without saying i mean the guys when he's you know his abilities they're up there i have him at a 9.0 out of 10 you know and uh, i think that goes without saying to be honest with you um just overall. And because, you know, both guys are strong. Both guys can do suplexes and stuff like that. But um, both guys have the capability of going even beyond that. You know, plus uh, very good mat wrestling that, you know, both can employ into their arsenal. And they're just both very good. I have it pretty close. So I have uh, Brock Lesnar, um, you know, just with a slight advantage in that department. Now, their in-ring storytelling, otherwise also known as psychology, both guys are very good at that. That's why I have them rated very high, 8.6. Kent Shamrock, I saw this dude tell a story with someone like D'Lo Brown, you know, showing that he's struggling with a D'Lo Brown. You know, that, that's what they told him to do. That's what he did. He just did his job. You know, he should have been destroying guys, kind of like a Brock Lesnar is today. You know, but that's the WWE's fault, not his. Um... Look up his matches with The Rock. Uh, the stories they told in the ring were some great stuff. Um, so there you go. Brock Lesnar, I think, goes without saying. This guy has had multiple great matches. The only reason he's not in the, nine, in the nines is because he's inconsistent. You know, uh, he'll have matches that are just dreadful. Like his match with Dean Ambrose, for example. You know, uh, he has to be up for it. You know, um, if not, he would be a lot higher. But uh, Lesnar is definitely very good when he wants to be. And because it's because when he wants to be, that's why he's not in the nines, in my opinion. Mike work. You know, Lesnar for the last few years has been letting Paul Heyman do most of the mic work. Uh, he'll do above average for sure when he needs to. Uh, but it works for him. Um, the interview setting is always best for Brock, for sure. Um, he's even higher than a 5.7 for sure in those settings, but um, he's not the best in the mic. Uh, a little bit above average, but nothing special. Kent Shamrock, once in a while he would be above average, but for the most part, I mean, I saw him fumble through words and say things that didn't make sense. And um, after a while, they stopped giving him interviews and he just became like the quiet assassin and uh, he would just scream and yell and and stuff like that, but um, not very good in the mic. In fact, if anybody wants to dispute that, I can show you some examples of um, him really struggling on the mic. You know, um, but he should have they should have kept him as that silent assassin and kept him short. He did okay in interview settings, you know, but uh, he had a hard time on the mic. Look, none of these guys um, had uh, much character dimensions to them, you know. Uh, they were pretty straightforward, but you know what? Like, and I'm being 100% honest here. This is a situation where it doesn't matter. N nobody wanted these guys to be doing comedy. Uh, no, nobody wanted these guys to be doing anything other than what they were. You know, uh, They got it right with Lesnar, especially the second time coming off of that uh, UFC run. But and they should have done with Shamrock what they did with Lesnar, but they didn't. You know? Um, but it just didn't matter. It, it doesn't matter that they didn't have other dimensions to them. They were pretty straightforward. And that's, you know, have them a little above average because they are performers and they, they had a lot of experience. But um, it's this is one of those things where in their case, it doesn't matter. You know what? The mic work. It didn't even matter. It just didn't. Simple to the point worked for them. You know, so it, it just didn't matter that their mic work wasn't that great. 
Storytelling outside of a match have Ken Shamrock in a very good and solid 7.7 .7 out of 10. And I have uh, Lesnar in a very good 8.1 out of 10. Um, you know, first of all, aside from the mic work and, and all that, they were very one-dimensional in, in their character. However, uh, the way they carried themselves, their believability is, is really is helping carry them in this category. You know, you, you have to believe. There's a believ believ believability factor uh, when it comes to these two guys. I almost struggled with that word. But, but anyway, um, you believe it. You see a Ken Shamrock, you believe it. You know, and that's carrying a huge weight here. You know what I mean? And the way they carried themselves, they carried themselves as badasses. Um, more so with Lesser. They should have done with Shamrock what, what they did with Lesser in his second run. Um, but overall, they, they have very a very good score here, each one of them, uh, because of that. You know, even when Shamrock would botch his promos, right? Um, he was he would still you would still get the point, and you would still understand what he was getting at. The same with Lesnar, like you understand, like I'm gonna destroy you, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass, and whether they delivered it well or not on the mic, it, there was a belie believability factor there, all right? And I think that helps carry them here a lot. Um, you know, they didn't have to do as much to tell a storyline outside of a ring. You know, they didn't have to do a lot of that because of their believability. And, and I'll admit that it's a, a big reason why their score is that high. All right. So a lot of these things that are graded are not just things that they were that they themselves actually executed. Sometimes it's just things that the the aura that they give out, you know, and that that's wrestling. So anyway, um, with that said. Kent Shamrock with a 35.9 out of 50 and Lesnar with a 37.0. 7.0 even out of 50. All right, there you go. All right, this is my opinion. Tell me what you think. Uh, you guys have been uh, very vocal uh, about these ratings, whether you agree or disagree. Some of you felt I rated uh, Bret Hart's in-ring ability too low. I, I felt it's a, it's, I think that's a very good score, but you guys felt, I, uh, some of you, that I, I rated it too low. Um, some of you felt I rated uh, Triple H's in um, mic skills too high, right? Um, <laughs> there you go. I mean, those, those are the two most controversial uh, things that, that I had said. Ironic enough, uh, Bret Hart's my favorite wrestler of all time. People are saying I'm rating him too low in, in, in the wrestling department. I never liked Triple H. You know, and people are saying I rated him too high. In the mic, in the mic department, All right? So I want to know what you guys think, and do you think I rated any of these guys too low or too high in any category? Tell me what you think. Um, I'm not going to add more categories. You could add way more categories to this, because there's many factors that go into play in in what makes a, a great performer, and that there's some of these categories just don't matter for certain guys. They just don't. The fact that Lesnar can't you know, cut a Ric Flair type promo in the ring. It just doesn't matter. And in a way that that silence of his kind of works or it has worked. And and uh, having Paul Heyman as a manager just works for him. Uh, there, there's something about it that works, you know. So so there you go. I have some other guys I want to rate. And um, I'll, I'll try to do one like every other day or something like that. And I don't know if I'll keep doing like two guys in the same... I'll probably just do one wrestler at a time, but uh, it just it kind of makes it interesting when you can kind of compare it to guys and and stuff like that. So there you go. All right, this is D Style. Tommy, what you think? I'm out.